This acquisition project serves as the third one awarded to the South Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries, after the frigate acquisition project of the First Horizon, which is now called the Jose Rizal class frigates, and the Corvette acquisition project, in which its design cues have derived from the Jose Rizal class frigates, with its design name being the HDC 3100. Before the change in administration took place on June 30, 2022, the Department of National Defense sealed a deal with the South Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries for the construction of six, six offshore patrol vessels for the Philippine Navy when both parties signed the contract that may stipulate the obligations of both the buyer and the seller involved, from delivery dates to milestone payment schemes. The allotted budget for the contract, or ABC, has amounted to PHP 30 billion, which is equivalent to PHP 5 billion per offshore patrol vessel constructed by the South Korean shipbuilder. The design of the vessels may be derived from the HDP 1500 offshore patrol vessel design of Hyundai Heavy Industries, although there are noticeable changes in the design such as having a stretched hull of around 94.4 meters, see image above. The stretched hull counts as an improvement over the 81-meter design of the original HDP 1500 offshore patrol vessel offered by Hyundai Heavy Industries and even better than Austal's 81.7-metered offshore patrol vessel offer whereby the 94.4-metered vessel may provide additional space for future upgrades at the discretion of the Philippine Navy, with the option of making it formidable by adding weapons subcomponents on board. Former Secretary of National Defense Delfin Lorenzana said in this report that his office during that time did not allow the offshore patrol vessel acquisition project to get dragged on until the next administration as the Philippine peso was at a disadvantage against the US dollar in the exchange rate, whereby it was at 1 United States dollar to PHP 55.00 at the time this article was written, while the offshore patrol vessel deal was pegged at a 1 United States dollar to PHP 52.00 exchange rate. Aside from an improvement in the hull design of the offshore patrol vessels, the contract also provides a license for the Philippine Navy to manufacture or build using the design provided for this acquisition project exclusively for the Philippine government to use, which is basically a transfer of technology that may help push the shipbuilding portion of the Self-Reliance Defense Posture, or SRDP. The license, or what we call transfer of technology, may help catalyze the push for self-reliance defense posture, which itself may go as the primary highlight for the third horizon of the revised armed forces of the Philippines modernization program, whereby in production of military hardware, innovation, and multiple transfers of technology are the highlights under this initiative. Given that there are revisions in the design of the Philippine Navy offshore patrol vessels, along with the clarity of information that has been provided in the specifications of what Hyundai Heavy may soon provide for the offshore combat force and the Philippine fleet in its entirety. We will discuss in depth the revisions in the design specifications and also the features and subcomponents that may be found in these warships. With these developments coming on hand, it is interesting to see how the Philippine Navy may look for the next six, six, to eight, eight, years, given that it may get filled with modern naval hardware as compared to its composition years ago, as the whole armed forces of the Philippines is doing in its whole effort to modernize its military hardware and capabilities into the modern age. Now with Horizon 3 coming on its way, starting in the year 2023, it comes with the hopes and aspirations that the Philippine Navy may not stop at just gaining six units of offshore patrol vessels but instead add more units to a sufficient number that are part of the country's effort to have a minimum credible defense posture, providing necessary deterrence for the country's defense against both internal and external threats that may harm the whole nation's sovereignty and national interest.